So again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the studio. Gallery. <laughs> and I've got a 16 by 20 inch black pre-primed canvas. And when I prime my, when I put my layer of wet paint on here, it means that I don't have to worry about my edges showing through or fussing too much over that. And I can just put one layer of black on instead of three which is what happens when I use a conventional white canvas. Those three layers I usually let dry and they're great for shovel pours. It's nice to have a slippery slick background that's dry for shovel pours. I've been doing a fair number of shovel pours recently. I want to say thank you guys for all the contributions to help keep me painting and remember that there's a monthly drawing every single month and you can find what the prizes are included in the exhibition video that's on every end screen or most of them. <laughs> I try and bulk edit and it doesn't always work. Two buddies good for to a point and then I'm not sure. But um, in any case, I'm going to just go simple and start. And that's how I work my game. I just run with whatever vague idea or plan. And this time I don't have a plan. I just have some leftover colors. I'm not going to worry about my edges too much because I'm probably going to use an edge catcher which means that I'll hold a sheet of plastic against the edge of the canvas as I tilt it and it will allow the paint to flow to it. I'm going to put that in the bucket. I'm going to grab... I'd like to just put that down. Honestly, I've actually got something I can do that with. I've got a little towel holder so I can actually put that down. So these are my colors and I had some uh, some purple flash and some Venetian blue for Modern Masters, which I'm going to put a bunch of that in there and see if that works. Because I'd really like it to work. And my copper is not working. It's definitely sort of plugged. But we'll put some of that in there anyway. I have some green gold from Folk Art. Color shifting. Definitely going to need to get whatever that is out of there. Which is probably going to wind up in my painting in a minute. I have some of this um, Rust-Oleum Scarlet Red, which disappears every time I use it, so I'm not too afraid of bulking out my colors with that. Here's the Neon Purple from Folk Art. It's a multi-surface. I am not going out of my way to think about my colors, because sometimes the root of the colors, the cooler the pattern. And that is an Anita's White Metallic that I'm just going to throw in there. And my gold was unplugged a moment ago. My gold is a mixture of a whole bunch of stuff because my favorite gold is the Decord Americana 24 karat gold and they are, they have been out for a month it seems like. So what other color should I have in there? I'm always complaining I don't have enough orange. This was open a minute ago. Let's see if I can get something out of there. So those are some odd colors. I guess I'm not done. Looks like I'm going to have leftover colors again today. <laughs> and I love not just this blue, but this blue. That's a Bahama blue from Anita's. The other blue is one I made up. This is a color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. The, first co the last colors in will be the first colors out, so I'm not too worried about that. And I think as long as I'm already in for penny, in for pound, there's some of my magenta, ooh, Quinacridone magenta by Golden with some iridescent pearl fine in it. And then, because this is not open either, I'm going to put some purple flash in, also from Folk Art. And I think I'm going to give it a little tiny dose of my turquoise metallic. I'm not sure who made that. And then I'm just going to come back tomorrow and paint again. This is my acrylic enamel and it's probably from folk art but it could be from anybody and it's probably gloss I know people started by using the not gloss the semi gloss I can see I've got some paint that's rolled down and I don't think I care I have wanted to do this for a while now And if 
I don't have the colors that I want, I will put the colors that I want in there, and that is pretty much covered in color. I'm going to move some things out of my way and see if I can grab the edge catcher that's down here somewhere. I'm going to put that one that's painted away. By the way, if you don't have a plastic edge catcher, you can always use a piece of cardboard. So what don't, don't I see in there that I want more of? And the answer to that is not just the turquoise, but the color shifting turquoise. We'll start there. I'm sort of watching my wave of paint and my pattern flow. Thinking to myself that this looks really cool up here, but it looks different than everything else, which is something sometimes something I aspire to. I'm not sure if it's this time or not. This might be really cool. I was kind of hoping I was going to be able to hang on to some negative space. Now, one thing I like to do is let the paint colors run off. Let's let that relax for a second. And then come back and put them on the other side, which is really tricky, but well worthwhile if you can get away with it. Whoop. And I can't if I'm letting the other side dribble. That's okay, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I'm going to let that relax, wipe it off with my fingers. I think I want to grab a an OXO armlet turning spatula and put that paint right on my little leafy mat. What did I just, oh, I just painted the handle of a palette knife. Oh well. I'm making a mess. It's been a messy day. <laughs> and there goes a bottle of paint just to prove my point. So I'm going to take all these colors, well no, not all of them, but I'm going to take some of these colors And then some more of these colors. And then the rest of these colors. And see what I can do. with sticks or chains or whatever I want. I think I'm going to go right back to what I was doing a moment ago. Only this time I'm going to go down and around. I really want to stick chain in there. I think it'd be kind of cool to use a basting brush just to see what will happen. I like this gold down here and I think I want more of it. Right up there. That makes me happy. Okay, so I could, I've got all kinds of basting brushes, and they're all modified. This one's got four, four tines left. That one's got one, two, three, four rows with six in each. I think this one or this one, this one's got two, four, six, seven. I think that one's the one. Put the rest of these away and hope I might. Oh, you know what? I cut them off. I made them short on this one, and I want to try that. Because it's a lot stiffer, sort of like a fork would be. Sort of reminds me of what the wind would look like. I seldom, if ever, take advantage of the opportunity to drag a basting brush through. Where's that color? I've got two colors I like. This one is prettier when it dries. Where's the other one? There it is. I think this is the purple flash, but it looks a lot pinkier than that to me. My Venetian blue pretty much disappeared. I'm not unhappy with that at all. Let's see what else. I've got some orange. I 
I've got some paint dripping right off my edge catcher that I'm going to throw in the bucket because it's brown. I'm not doing brown today. Maybe that means I have to wipe off my... Wipe off my basing brush too. All right. Boy, I kind of like it too much to want to do anything bad to it, like tip it, but I think I'm also not capable of just stopping. So this could be the everything one. I could just put chain in here too. Or I could just grab that gold. And even everything out just a little bit. My skewer and I'm dragging this thing so gently. What else? I think some of my, that's not coming out, some more of that pink maybe. I think I must have altered. I've never seen that color before in my stuff, so I think I must have altered a, uh, a purple flash. I'm just trying to sort of throw the eye back and forth between here and there. Because I know I can get away with it. I really just want to... I've got paint flakes on my hands. They've got to go. All right, I kind of love that. <laughs> Even that little... I know it's strictly abstract and it's fun. It's strictly accidental art is what I should say, but I like the negative space. I really want to tip it, but I've got GAC 800 and I'm going to pray that this time it decides to allow me to get away with heavy paint without it cracking. I really want some of this. You know what I've got? got a little bit more paint in my cup. And where I see mud, I can use some of the paint in my cup. I am pretty sure all of this is going to move, but I might like it, right? <laughs> is it a safe bet? I'm not sure. I love my colors. I really, really do. And I'm going to sneak a little bit of this Venetian blue right in here because I can. That's the name of my first book. You can find it on the Amazon link next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. It's under the link tree, the first blue link under the video is the link tree. If you should happen to be interested in seeing what uh, most days new artworks look like, look for the Pinterest link under the link tree. It's where I put my paintings. That blue is okay. I wonder if I can keep anything if I put it up there. I am just entertaining myself with paint at this point. I'm going to torch. I'm going to call it good. I'm going to tell you guys I love you and there's 90,000 of you. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. This is something else. This was just definitely art therapy. I torched to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I didn't overdo it with the basing brush, which is good. Got some cells popping. My paint burn recipe is below the description when you open show more under the video. I love you guys for giving me thumbs up and sharing my videos is really, 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 really important. It helps me out a lot. If you decide that you want to help the studio produce more videos, whatever you decide to contribute to help support the studio and the production of videos will go through PayPal or Patreon. You can find those links on the channel header on the bottom right hand corner, the banner on my YouTube channel or under the link tree and you can find out what the monthly prizes are because you'll be automatically included in the monthly drawing. There are this this particular month there are nine paintings to choose from and you get to have two of them if you're the winner.
I have Teespring clothing below the video, and um, there are all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts there, which is pretty cool. I don't sell a lot, but I sell some once in a while, and it's a big help to me when it happens, and I really appreciate you guys who shop there. I really appreciate you guys who are shopping my Amazon link, too. You really helped me with the, the purchase of art supplies to keep painting. So I like the orange, and I kind of want some more, but there's that. I think it's enough. Yeah, you know what's coming. <laughs> but I want to move the eye around. Where's my skewer? My very schmutzy skewer. Usually not a good idea after torching. Anyway, so let me look. If you guys have questions for me, please feel free to ask me. Look on the community board on my YouTube channel for tomorrow's video. Also look on my store for more stuff. It's also on my YouTube channel. Uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for anybody looking for the edited art, artworks from YouTube. They're not all there, but some are. If you ever have a question or you're interested in making um, a purchase, look for my email address directly below the link tree link. And uh, give me the hashtag that came with the video you were interested in the artwork for. Or give me the time and the date of the exhibition video. Because all of the, well, 99%, well, a certain, for the most part, there's a lot of, a lot of artwork done on an exhibition video. And you can find them in the playlists. There are over 1,600 videos on my all playlists and then created playlists. And you'll find them. Uh, separated in by the hundred and by the genre. I'm sort of jumping all over, over the place. Um, also under the link tree, Facebook group, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expression to Start Studio Gallery Totes and More will take you via the Shop Now button to pixels.com and Fine Art America. Also uh, available on my link tree. Most of my links are there, including Saatchi Art. And my website is there in case you're interested. And uh, I love you guys dearly, so I hope to see you again. And I will see you anon, and I think this is fabulous. So that was a good time. Never done till I'm done. Just one last little thing and a skewer to put it in place. That's good, because I like that, that pink moving over from here to there to there. A little bit over there. Still some paint. A little more over there. And I'm good to go. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. There are some nice cells in here. But they're not excessive. I'm going to try and zoom in for a moment. That's maybe not the best spot. Let's see if that's any better. No, we got too much reflection in here for sure. I like these. I don't know if you can see those or not. I like those little... There's a reflection there too. Okay, well, I give up. But you get to see it from the angle that I like it. And I will see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery out.